Hello and welcome to this updated video guide for completing the Limitless Blue Hard in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. My name is TSDS and in this video you'll learn everything you need to know to hunt the Gen Moran. Fortunately this is an easy one so let's get to it. At the start of the fight take note of the two cannons on either side of the platform. Also note the little barrel right in the middle as these will be important. To start the encounter, just move closer to the boss. He'll then dip down and slam into the platform attempting to destroy it, this first hit being unavoidable. Anytime you see Bismarck dip down like this, it's because he's about to slam the platform, and you can see the platform's health under the duty information on the left. It goes without saying, but do not let this get destroyed. Now then, during the first phase of the fight, you'll have two ads to pick up. These Vanu Vanu are nothing special, but they can do line AoEs that will yeet you back, so avoid these unless you can fly. If you don't protect the platform when Bismarck hits it, this line AoE can wombo combo you out of the fight, so do be careful or just interrupt it. In order to protect the platform against Bismarck, interact with the barrel in the middle as soon as you see him dip down. This creates a temporary shield around the island, which reduces the damage it takes from Bismarck's slam, and prevents anyone from getting staggered. It won't work if you're too late, so as soon as you see Bismarck dip, put the shield up. Also note that throughout the entire fight there will be constant AoE water bombs being dropped on the platform, so avoid these as much as possible. Not long into the fight, you'll get a message that the dragon killers are readied. At this point, both of the cannons at the sides should be interacted with. Doing this will chain the boss and pull him within range. You do have a mildly limited time to activate these Dragon Killers before Bismarck turns them off again, repeating the phase, so get a move on. Once Bismarck is tied to the platform, everyone should run onto him and immediately start burning his Chitin Carapace. If you can't destroy this in one attempt, you'll just need to repeat this phase. After a short time, Bismarck will start to shudder and will break away from the island. Counter to popular belief, you do not need to actually jump back onto the platform when this happens as Bismarck will automatically punt everyone back on it when flying away, which also happens when you break the carapace. With the Chitin destroyed, we enter phase 2. Here, two large serpent adds will spawn. The tanks should take one each and split them up because they take very little damage when close together. It's during this time that a number of tornadoes will also start to move around the platform in addition to the water bombs. These will knock you up in the air and can do so multiple times, so just try to keep away from them. After the two serpents are dead, or you took too long, Bismarck will rise up and blast the platform trying to wipe you. This will also destroy the shield barrel in the middle, but as long as the serpents were slain, you'll be okay. And now we start phase 3. This phase plays very similar to phase 1, except there will now be three Vanu Vanu adds to kill, though it doesn't matter how you split these up with the tanks. Hit those dragon killers when ready and jump back on the boss once you've pulled him in. Destroy the piece on his back again to win the fight. You can limit break this, but if you can't destroy it in one attempt, you'll just repeat the phase. Healers should note that standing on Bismarck's back deals damage over time to everyone. It's not a lot, but throw down an AoE heal and you can go back to burning the boss. Now, the last thing to mention is the weather in phase 3. This will either be a thunderstorm or rainy. If it's a thunderstorm, the sky will turn purple, and if it's rainy, the sky will turn grey. You can also just look at the weather dial next to your minimap. During this phase, a bunch of vapour bubble water ads will spawn on the platform. If it's raining, kill them. If it's a thunderstorm, leave them alone. This weather mechanic is quite ignorable, but basically during a thunderstorm, two players will get cracked by a bolt of lightning, dealing damage to anyone standing near them. The bubble adds will take this hit instead if you didn't kill them. However, if it's raining, the bubble adds will chuck a ton of AoEs on the platform, so they should get killed off. Do note that the weather changes quite often in this phase. And that's the Limitless Blue Hard. If you've enjoyed the guide, then let me know. And if there are any other guides or perspectives you'd like to see, then check out my channel or feel free to ask me to create one. Thank you for watching and good luck.